Hi. I'm Lexi. You must be Tess? Yeah. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, it's okay. Uh, uh, my, my flatmate isn't even here yet. Do you want me to come back when she is? In case I'm a serial killer? No, no, no. It's, it's fine. Come in. She didn't be long. Um, unless you are. Oh, I used to dabble, but it was murder getting the blood stains out of my clothes. Well, that's bad. Sorry, uh, I've never interviewed a flatmate before. Do I show you the room first, or...? Oh, I'm no expert, but I think you'd probably show me the room, and then we chat, and then you try and work out if I'm weird or not. <laughs> OK, sounds like a good plan. Um, so, seeing that you mentioned it, are you weird? Oh, not usually. I mean, I do live with my gran, so I guess that is a bit weird. God, I can never live with my gran. She's mad for pinching my cheeks. Oh, well, mine's from here, so, you know, when I came over. And I wouldn't mind, it's just she's got a lot of pets and I'm trying to keep the whole bestiality thing. Oh! <laughs> I didn't get that. Um, do you want to... Oh, cool! If I move in, do I get to keep Johnny Cash at Folsom Prison? You like Johnny Cash? Yeah, it's kind of a guilty secret, but I love country and western. <laughs> no way, me too. Really? Well, it's not so secret. I'm kind of out about it to my friends. Ah, uh, I love this play. Everyone's so bloody miserable in it. They're doing it at the Tron, aren't they? Yeah, actually, uh, I'm playing Sonia. Really? Mm. That's so cool. Thanks. So, what do you do? Sorry, I sound like someone's dad. I'm going to be asking if you've got good prospects next. I can ask for your daughter's hand in marriage if you like. <laughs> um, listen, my flatmate's going to be back soon, um, and I bought a selection of tea the other day, so that when we have guests I can say, do you want a cup of tea? We have a selection. Um, do, you, do you want one? Oh, only if you have a selection. <laughs> Yes. Come on. <laughs> All my favourite stuff on here. <laughs> uh, so, uh, have you got any pets or kids or wives we should know about? No, no, no. I'm footloose and fancy free. Hi. Hi. Sorry, I'm late. I only just got your message. Um. So you're the flatmate. Did you know each other? Not exactly. I almost didn't recognise you. You've, you've done something with your, your hair, right? Surprised you remember me at all. Didn't even get my name, did you? Leona? Lexi. Oh, what did you do? We hooked up and I was a bit of a cock and left without saying goodbye. But if it's any consolation, I'm often a cock, so it really isn't personal. Yeah, I've got to go. Oh, no, no, no. Let's not leave things like this. Lexi, um, you're right. I was out of line. It's no excuse, but I was pretty messed up at the time, and you just kind of got caught up with that. I'm sorry. Ah, fuck it. Life's too short to bear a grudge. Um, why don't you come out for some beers with us later, see if you can bear us? It's gay disco night at Ruby's. Do you think you can handle that? Love a bit of disco. <laughs> Awesome. Hey. Um. Do you anyone? Yeah. You alright? I'm Finn. Tessie's girlfriend. Hi, Lexi. bringing me to a gay bar just to ensure I can't celebrate by getting laid. No, you can get laid anywhere. All you need to do is employ the three C's. Babes will be fucking it. <laughs> what? Obviously going wrong somewhere. I've never heard of no three C's. Oh, really. Cocky, confident and charming. <laughs> no, seriously, women, women can sense if you're nervous. You've got to approach them like you're the hot restaurant everyone wants to dine in. Oh, come on, if 
it was a restaurant, he'd be giving away two-for-one lunch vouchers. Oi. <laughs> Alternatively, Ed, you could just try being friendly and see if you have anything in common. Oh, yeah, if you want to send people to sleep. <laughs> yeah, it worked for me. Oh, let's see. What do you do? And how come we haven't seen you before? Oh, I'm a doctor in A&A at Queen. I work a lot. I virtually lived there when I was training. But Friday night, the Chandering Piss Artist Brigade. Must have been before my time where I'd remember you. A doctor, eh? That's pretty grown up. <laughs> you sure you want to live with these juvenile delinquents? No, 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 I'm not growing up. I'm only in it for the free drugs. Speaking of which, I brought my friend Charlie along to help us celebrate. Anyone get to join us at the ball? Oh, I can't. It's my first day of rehearsals tomorrow. Right, oh, you can count me in. Yeah, and me. Right then, I guess it's just me, Frankie, Lexi, and a soon-to-be famous author then. Let's go! No, no way. There's no way, Jay. Lally Locker room. Right, me. That's not Ben. She's great. Yeah, I just... I wonder whether it matters that we're both so different. Do you think Lex is going to move in? Not if Frank is going to sleep with her again. Again? Yeah, it turns out she was one of Frankie's hit and runs. Oh, she better not be bloody going home with her. But just like Frankie, to blow our chances of a decent flatmate for a quick chat. Oh, he's both keep checking me out. What? That one over there? And that one? Have drugs made you gay? <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Just use your girl wants girl can't have girl but. Someone I know? No. Christ, I hate cake. It always makes me spill my guts. I did not tell you that. My lips are sealed. You know what they say, the best way to get over one girl is to get under another. No, I wasn't referring to myself. No offence, but uh, I don't make the same mistake twice. <laughs> None taken. You're right, I generally am a mistake. So the cop, Sam, does she go out with Kat? You fancy Sam? Oh, Jesus. That was me trying to be subtle. Yeah, they're together. Although we let up for you. Relationships are just things people do before they fuck someone else. Although I wouldn't take my advice. I'm always pissing people off. DIY. Tell you what, he got the right idea going out with a spark. Oh, I bet she does everything like this. Oh, yes, she would. It's only we're not together anymore. Oh, shit. Um, sorry. It's okay. We weren't together long. It was a she says tomato, I say tomato situation, so I called the whole thing off. Let me guess. You were being weird and avoiding her, so she forced you to dump her? Well, you know, you're messy, which means you're probably more of an avoider than a confronter. So, um, are you seeing anyone at the moment? Or? Oh, no. Nah. Spent my 20s sleeping with the wrong women. Frankie, being a prime example, which is a surefire way to end up single. I'm off for a run. See you later. Don't you dare clear up that mess, I'll do it. Hey. Hey, you okay? It's Lexi, isn't it? Hey. My oh God, this isn't embarrassing at all. I was hoping I wouldn't run into anyone. I'm a bit new to the whole running thing. <laughs> The more you do, the easier it gets. If I do any more. Oh, God, sometimes I can't wait till we're 80 and I can just throw self-improvement to the wind, <laughs> buy a stairlift and eat donuts all day. Don't forget the motorised wheelchair. Oh, God, now you're just talking dirty. 
Don't let yourself cool down too much. I'm, uh, I'm heading that way if you want to run together. Oh, no, no, no. You're really fit. Um, I mean, you're really healthy. And I just quit smoking, so... Uh, I got the lung capacity of a small hamster. No, I better go. Are you sure I don't want to? Yeah, no, no, I'm cool. All right. Yeah. See you. Go for it. comes here every day. How are you? He's asleep now. He had a bad night. It wasn't his fault. He could have been talking on his mobile or reading a map. Yeah, and if he was, it's not going to bring her back. He was so distraught last night, we had to sedate him. If you go in there, you're not going to feel any better. And you're making an already devastated man a lot worse. <laughs> 